What's up guys, it's Tiny Terror here and today we're playing a game called Chaos Reborn. This is a game I've wanted to play for a while, I've had a little go on this game previously, I see I'm on level 3 now. Uh, not that experienced with it, but we're going to have a go anyway. Uh, basically this game is kind of like a game of chess, but it involves wizards and casting and creatures and all sorts of amazing things. So I'm going to get into a duel and I'll bring you guys back once we get started into a game. Okay guys, let's get started into a game and hopefully we'll do well. Just getting transported now to whatever map it wants to show us. Right, okay, so we're only getting to level 4 guy, okay, usually I'm against like level 20 guys, which makes me feel a bit out of my depth, but level 4 so he's only a level higher than me, so that's good. And basically the level's just, I mean, just, extra experience, and it, just an experience thing, should I say, so it's not like if you get higher levels you're more likely to win or anything like that, it's kind of... This game is largely based on luck. Um, as you can see there's percentages down here, that's the percentage cast rate basically. Um, so that basically tells me how likely I am to get to the animal that I want. So I see that goblin was 90% so that's quite a high cast rate whereas say the pegasus is only 40%. So I'm more likely to get a goblin than a pegasus basically because pegasus are better. You see, what I'm trying to do is get this mana thing here, which basically lets me have mana, which can basically increase the probability of casting spells. However, I'm not sure I'm supposed to get it because there's a tree in the way, unless I've got to come all the way around here, which I might have to. So I might have to move myself a bit closer up here. Um, I'm going to move my goblin further in because I might as well challenge his goblin, because why not? Um, and in terms of what to cast, I'm not sure. Um, some of these, I keep, I like this game because I have some of these cards I've never seen before, like I've never seen Rise, Raise Dead, I mean I've seen someone use it but I've never used it myself. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a look, might try an Air Elemental. As you can see there's someone here called Cast Illusion and Cast Real. Illusion will always cast no matter what, but if they can disbelieve it and basically gets rid of the creature. Whereas Real, it will all, it might not cast as I said before. Um, why won't you cast? Are we back? Okay, we're back. Let me quick cast. Let me 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 cast. Quick cast, 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 cast. Okay, just like about the game, guys. Sorry, <laughs> it happens quite a lot. But I finished my turn now, anyway, so that's fine. Ooh, that was stressful. Okay, so he's going for that mana thing there. This is actually a lot easier to get to the mana. I've got to like actually go around mine. I don't tend to cast illusions because even when turns of attacking, which I hope to show you next turn, these years these goblins are in combat now. There's a probability it's going to kill the creature, so there's a 50 50 chance that I'm going to kill this goblin. And we'll give it a go, and, see, and it didn't work. So I've got an opportunity now to move the goblin, but I don't really see the point. I mean, I might bring it closer to my wizard just to protect it a bit, but now I've got a 73% chance of attacking this goblin with my air elemental, and that wasn't effective but they do have knockback. Um, so I think I'm going to move my wizard up here to the higher ground because the higher ground always has an advantage and the whole point of the game is to basically kill the wizard. The wizard is like the king in the chess set so that's really really important. So it's an idea to protect the king and try and, not the king sorry, the wizard and try and kill their wizard. So that's basically what I'm trying to do and the purpose of the game. I might cast a me. Oh no, nope, I didn't. Wait, what did I just? I don't know what I just did there, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I wanted to cast a meteor shower on that skeleton. No idea what happened there, but he's gone and got a 25% pump of mana. The mana is in this bottom bit here, but basically increases the probability of your spells casting real, basically. So if I wanted to cast something like a Pegasus, ideally if I want to cast a real one, which, is I, which I usually do, then I'd want as much mana as possible to make it most likely to get it, basically. Because um, nothing worse than casting something good like a Pegasus and it doesn't pull off and you don't have it anymore. So that's very, very important. And it's still his turn. Yeah. 
he's taking his time. Meteor shower on himself? That's a bit awkward. I'm a bit concerned why he's cast a meteor shower on himself, because that's not something you usually do, and I've never seen it being done before. Uh, actually, no. Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna go for that skeleton, but obviously I haven't now. Uh, I might bring the goblin back a bit. Um, uh, mm. I don't want to waste that yet, I don't think. I want to save that for something important, I think. Um, do I pump my creature with a totem? I mine do. If I cast that down here, it's not going to be in the way of anything. I see here I've got six mana gems, and I'm going to use those to increase that to 6%. It's basically giving it a 6% higher probability, and it has pulled off. It's basically going to buff my creatures up, um, basically. Let me just get some info up. That's basically going to pump up my uh, creatures, so they're more, more likely to do damage, which is ideally what I want, so that's all good. And that means that's flashy, which means I can't... Actually, yeah, I can do something else. What? Who didn't I move? I moved myself. Who? Oh, I didn't move my air. No, I don't want to move my air. My elemental, it might as well stay there. And the meteor shower for some reason didn't kill my creatures, which is good. Might as well say thanks to his. Okay, so what's the. Oh, a hellhound. Uh, not a big fan of hellhounds. They paralyze people usually, which isn't ideal. How's it not killing anything? I might as well leave the goblin there. Um, do I go for a dwarf? Dwarf's quite sturdy. You know what, I'm going to try and knock out this hellhound because I really don't like hellhounds. Hellhounds and spiders are... Okay, that didn't work. Hellhounds and spiders always seem to be quite troublesome. Um, and I'm not a big fan of them. Because they basically paralyse or web and basically immobilise your creature completely and it's a pain in the bum to deal with. Uh, another thing I didn't really discuss is this top bar up here. Basically, when you cast any, you've got two types of spells. You've got Law, which is the blue, and you've got Chaos, which is the red. And then you've got Neutral, which is, see what I mean by the paralysis. And then you've got Green, which is neutral. And basically, the more you cast of those spells, the more it sways it. So if you cast loads of Chaos spells, which we have been doing, and it's just killed my air elemental, which isn't good, um, it will pull push the probability up here a bit, which basically means there's a 10% bonus a 10% more probability so usually the manticore is 40% but since it's got a 10% boost it's now 50% so it's more likely to cast um, it doesn't work against the law like the, the pegasus is always 40% and it still is um, but if I wanted you can have spells that shift it so one of my talismans actually shifts it so if I really want to cast a pegasus I can use that to shift it if I wanted to but I don't really want to at the minute I've got no creatures now which is a pain in the bum um, I could. Wait. Rise creature from the dead. Yeah, I want to do that, but how do I. Where do I cast it? Range 2. I've got to be a bit closer to it, I think. Oh, well, we'll, we'll save it, because I'm more than likely I'll have something like. Um, something like a Manticore or something later. And I'll want to save it for that. And I can't believe I didn't work. Okay. Um, well, I'm a bit screwed here. Um, I'd rather stay here. And there goes my goblin. That's not good. And that hellhound's getting a bit too close to my liking. That's a problem with this game, a lot of it's down to luck. I mean, you could be the most experienced player playing this game, but if you've got no good cards or no good creatures summoned, or again, you're just running out of luck like I am at the minute, then it's not really ideal. Um, take control of an enemy. I might try that with a skeleton. I'll leave it at 75. Failed to subvert the goblin. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna move my. 
Um, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to come down here. I'll play it self. Self? Safe. <laughs> This is a big predicament, actually. A very big predicament. It's saying he's going to go for that other mana thing, so he's going to have even more mana boosted. And that skeleton's coming for me. And that hellhound's going to try and paralyze me again, but it's not. Thankfully, it's not pulled off. Oh god, I've been cornered completely. Okay, this is a bad situation to be in. Although I do remember being in a situation like this where I basically had loads of creatures and they basically used a spell called Magic Bolt and completely killed me. And but the wizard, literally had, I had all these creatures on this wizard but I got too close to him despite me having all the creatures and I basically zapped him completely. And I'm engaged with this um, goblin which means I can't do anything. Right, okay, we've killed two of them. Um, I'm not going to activate that talisman because I don't think, because I've got no creatures to really cast it on. And I don't want to waste my mana when I can spend it on something like. And I've been, I've been killed by a vampire. What a way to go. Oh, well, never mind. It happens. It happens with this game. It happens with this game, but. Just the way it is. We'll just cast another jewel. We'll, we'll get we'll, no, we'll get started with another jewel and see how we get on with the next one. First final match. Let's see how we get on. Good luck, have fun. Right. So two magic balls. That's good. Um. Skeleton straight off the back. Why not? Okay, this is going quite well, except it's just some of an elephant, which is quite challenging to get rid of, but that's fine. I'm tempted to disbelieve the elephant, but I don't think I'm going to risk it. Teleport, that's very good. I like that spell. Okay, I've got a shield.
Ah, I've got him on the run now. Screw the elephant. We'll leave the elephant alone. This is where things get interesting because I now got the opportunity to have two manners. This is actually really, really good. Uh, let me cast this talisman first. And then a bow. Right, I'm in a very good position here. Very, very good position. All my creatures move just now. Do I play it safe and teleport or do I just stay here? I'll get a bonus up whilst I'm here. I think I'm gonna set myself down and teleport actually beside the map so I'm not in the way. Okay, just killed my elf. That's that's a dwarf with some balls. He's gonna come around the corner and get me, so we'll try it. Nah, that was being very optimistic. I'm 
come around this side. Why not? Kind of position we're in at the minute. Very, very good position indeed. Um, for a second, but okay. Okay, it's real, I'll take that back. That's... Yes! That's how we do it in the Shire. That is how we do it. Oh. Yay! 